I think this would be great music to play uh, in the, the Zoom meeting at work, like right before I sign in, you know? Everybody's just sitting there. They're talking about the weather, right? Because that's, that's, what, that's what happens at work when uh, business areas are working across with each other. Nobody really knows. How about that weather? You know, it's getting hot out here. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's hot by you, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, we had some we had some heat. Oh, God, you guys had the heat, too? Yeah. Oh, boy, man, those uh, those air conditioners, they're just working like a ball of fire out there, aren't they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, right, this music comes on. People are like, holy shit, what's going on? The goat jumps into the meeting, right? Wouldn't that be spectacular? I think it would. Why can't we have nice things? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming Channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites. And hopefully, I can say this pretty confidently, but hopefully, we're going to add some awesome games to your backlog. Uh, cause that's what we do. That's what we try to do every time as, as best we can, you know? Um, and, and why, why am I so confident? Well, because I showed off a game the other day and, uh, you know, people, people will be nice enough to admit to me sometimes, uh, hey goat, you got me. You got me with this one. Um, I didn't really get them. Sure, of course, you know, I'm adding games that they want to play. It's okay. We all have backlogs. It's all right. Everybody's going to be fine. Hey, uh, I'm back with some Project Lazarus here. Uh, if you've hung out with us in the past, you've seen this game before. Uh, and I'm continuing to have a ball with it. But uh, here's the thing. I've got a little bit of a score to settle with the... Arctic Glacier, and uh, we're going to try to do that. I think we're going to have good luck today with the Arachmech. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to power up for us a little bit faster, and uh, especially once we get some pneumatics going and we can do a little bit more than, than a crawl pace here. Um... These gems with the Iraq mech are, are worth a little bit more. So the thought being uh, that we're going to go heavy on damage, we're going to go heavy on crits, we're going to grab the pneumatics. I know, Silver Tongue Devil the other day still still in pain over me not grabbing the uh, pneumatics in the initial run. So am I. So am I. I, I realized the crime immediately. Um... They, they make such a difference. So, yeah, yeah. I knew right away we were in trouble. But I thought maybe, maybe with the damage, uh, we'll, we'll be okay. And uh, you know what? That was wrong. That's okay. Still had some fun runs, though. And uh, now, um, we're not here to have fun today. We're here to, uh, we're here to eradicate alien scum there's the pneumatics and uh you know what if we have some fun doing it that that'll be fine too i'm uh, you won't hear any complaining out of me uh but but we are we are here to do serious business today um so you know you know we keep it serious over at the goat force gaming channel we're all about the seriousness of the rogues um, I have uh, I have the pleasure of being joined by my esteemed colleague. Cup of coffee today. Uh, let's let's have a round of applause for cup of coffee. Thanks for being here with us today. And uh, and it's a full cup. Um, still drinking the uh, the roast that I've talked about from Hansa. But I'll tell you what, Rod, uh, I am going to be putting an order through very soon for some blue bottle coffee that you recommended. I'm, I'm looking very forward to that. And, uh, well, we'll be getting some new coffee in the house. Always a, always a great thing to look forward to in the morning. 
All right. Uh, you know, we're going to go... Oh, wait a second. We already have a machine gun. Do we want two machine guns? No. We're going to go laser blaster first. Get some, you know, unique stuff. And then we might double up. Um, I actually wouldn't mind a double flamethrower. Also wouldn't mind a double machine gun. So I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what happens out there. Uh, let's go laser. Um, you know, I actually put a couple points into the meta progression of the shotgun before starting. I I'm going to go shotgun today. Why not? What could go wrong, right? I mean, these guys are getting pretty close to us along the way. So I, I think the shotgun could be good. Let's see what happens. I'm liking the damage numbers that we're uh, putting out here. And the nice thing about the Iraq mech is that it's got plus 20% uh, to your... Ooh, we could go double flamethrower run. We're going to do that. That is going to be tremendous, I think. Um, so as I was saying, the Iraq mech is going to... Uh, increase your experience gain by 20%. And in this area, with all the greens dropping, it's ex extra meaningful. You know, you're just going to level up pretty fast, in my experience. So we'll go, uh, we'll go Tesla Coil. We'll definitely evolve that today. As much as I would have liked a gravity field to Create some more magnesis. You know, I think damage is just too important. All right. Uh, we'll go shotgun. I think. You can hear it firing off. Hard to see the bullets with everything going on. But so far, we're, we're putting these bugs down going okay um i do want to start venturing out here and uh, looking for some armor plating and some freebie upgrades as well so we will start that momentarily i was kind of just hanging out to grab all the greens all right um you know we're gonna yeah i, I wouldn't mind having two fully upgraded flamethrowers I would imagine flamethrowers are probably going to be the star of the show from a DPS standpoint. Uh, we'll see if I end up being right about that. Okay. Uh, if you're new here, thanks for being here with us. And if you like uh, roguelikes and roguelites, you're in the right place. Uh, and I'd, I'd love to earn the right to your subscription. Uh, so where you can hang out with us more on the regular. We have such an awesome community here. Uh, we have people writing in with game recommendations like Zero Cura did the other day, uh, and that, that game you recommended, it looks phenomenal. Um, I, I actually tried out the demo, and we're going to be showing that off on the channel, and I'm going to be watching uh, that game like a hawk. It, it looks wonderful, so thank you for that recommendation. And, uh, you know, we had Rod writing in with uh, what looks to just be an excellent roasted peppers recipe. Uh, you know, stuffed peppers, I guess I should say. I love a good stuffed pepper. Um, you know what, though? We don't we don't get to have those a lot in the house, which, which made your recipe look extra awesome to me. My wife isn't the hugest uh, pepper fan, so we, we, don't, we don't do it frequently, but every once in a while, you know, she'll make some peppers for us and... Uh, Oh my god, they're so good. Your recipe looks awesome. 
you know, any any time a recipe, uh, and I don't know about everybody. I mean, this is uh, uh, olives are probably a you know more of a subjective food, right? Uh, they they have they have a unique taste to them. Not everybody likes all uh, olives. I, I get that, but I'm I'm a huge olive fan, and uh, uh, the recipe that. Rod shared out there, uh, which I pinned, by the way, if anybody wants to go take a look at it, and, and you should, um, it utilizes olives. Sounds wonderful. So thank you for sharing that. Um, but yeah, that, that just kind of illustrates the type of people that that show up on the channel. We're, we're lucky. We're all able to hang out together. And uh, yeah, if you like these types of games, hit that sub button. Join us out there. Join the discussion. How about that? Okay. Back to it here. Back to the thing. So far, this is going really good. We've had some really nice upgrades along the way. And, uh, I, you know, I don't know. I, I think we're definitely going to upgrade the entire mech stack. No problem. And, uh, you know, from there, then you're kind of just choosing uh, from Kavarium or armor or health, you know, which is nice when you come down to the end of things. Good deal. Oh, there's a freebie. Love seeing those out there. Uh, let's go Tesla coil. I'm, I'm pretty happy with our speed so far. We'll we'll fully upgrade that eventually, but right now at least, uh, you know, we're, we're doing good. Okay. We've got an Evolved 4 that's about to happen. Tesla coil. Wow, that guy went down fast. Uh, I think we're going to be sitting pretty overall. Okay. You know, I mentioned in the uh, last stream where we didn't get the win that uh, I had played this area days before and, and was able to uh, get a win, but, but the video corrupted on me and I wasn't able to post it. And, you know, I've got to make good on the series. We've got to get our win, melt this glacier. Uh, we'll go damage. Um, and I think, I, I think I was the Arachmech, uh, when I got my original win in this area. So, who knows, maybe we'll have another one today. As long as we can take the big guys out quickly, uh, we should be okay. The tiny crabs seem to be going down nicely. Oh, you know, we gotta we gotta grab that evolution there. Let's do that. That'll also be very good against these guys. I was hoping that, from a timing standpoint, the flamethrowers would kind of support each other, you know, when, when one was reloading, the other would be firing off. It seems like sometimes that happens. But then they kind of catch up to each other. Seems to be like a very slight differential happening. Okay, can we take these guys out? We can, as long as the flamethrowers are firing off, it seems, which, I don't know. <laughs> Could be a problem. All right. Can we stand in place long enough? I'm gonna go with maybe not. We're gonna we're gonna see here. Oh boy, no. 
All right, do we lose our progress at all? I, I don't, I don't think we do. Oh man, all right. Don't worry, we, we won't lose sight of it. Oh! Man. All right, is that armor plating? It is, we need it. Okay, we're gonna put that evolution on hold for a moment. This is gonna be quite helpful, maybe. Okay. You know, somebody was explaining in the comments the other day that uh, the magnet, it comes in two different forms. So, you know, there's one magnet that just pulls what's on the screen, and then there's another magnet that digs really deep. Okay. I'm very thankful for the armor right now. I think we're just gonna kind of avoid these, these big crabs. Try and get through them. Ooh, this is gonna be helpful. There it is, the old overdrive, overclock. Overclock drive. Okay. Oh, hey, is, is this spot open now? Maybe it is. This music doesn't seem appropriate for what's happening at, at the moment, um, but we're gonna get our evolution, which is great. Okay. Need to get these, because they just drop straight greens. Uh, boy, let's go cosmic. Collect all the greens. Um, I, you know, we'll go cosmic again, I guess. And how are we doing here? So we've got no, uh, we'll go cosmic again. Okay. Um, I kind of, you know, we'll go AI core this time. Just kind of spread it around a little bit. Oh, these are going to be all green. Uh, let's do damage. Maybe that'll help with the leftover horde. Okay, so damage is 100% now. And it seems to be working quite well. We're almost 100% of the AI court. Wow, these guys went down. Wonderful. Okay, everything's coming up aces right now. Almost got a fully upgraded shotgun as well. Uh, we'll go pneumatics this time. Get a little bit faster out there. Wow, all greens again. Uh, fully upgraded AI core. Well, we'll go shotgun. Then we'll go AI core next. More greens. Wow. Uh, we'll go guardian. And fully upgraded AI core. All right. Everything's coming together so far. This is really where the Iraq mech gets exciting to play as, you know, because you just get, you get fully leveled up pretty quickly. Um, we'll go Cosmic, and then we are on the cusp of an evolution. Are these all greens too? Yep. Oh, wow. All right, there's our evolution. And the Kavarium packs are now officially showing up, which means we'll be able to uh, get health and armor on every level up, which is gonna help. Um, after, of course, we upgrade the pneumatics all the way. So we're gonna wanna do that for when the big guys show up. Speed is of the essence. Yeah, if anybody's struggling with the Arctic Glacier area, uh, I, I really do think the Arachnek is the way to go. Uh, now, you're going to need to be pretty deep 
into the uh, the meta progression. I think that's a hard and fast requirement as well uh, for this area. But the the Iraq mech's a good way to go. Really think so. Let's go grab our evolution and uh, hopefully a sip of coffee as well here. All right, cheers to you. Wonderful. That's just raw power now. Perfect. Okay, so we've got uh, slightly faster rotating energy balls of light and power. Okay, happy to see it. Uh, we're going to get our pneumatics all the way up here. Speed is really starting to look good. I guess I can get up close enough to these guys where the cosmic orbits into them. All right, perfect. And let's do some searching around at the same time. Now the map is a little bit empty at this point. Of course, I go to say that and we'll get dumped on. All right. So it looks like we hit that northern wall. Uh, I see a health pack over here. This will be nice. Uh, isn't it great when you just touch them momentarily with the weapons and they just fall? That never stops feeling good. I like to clear out the surrounding horde because, of course, when the wall goes down, you know, they all—they're all coming in. They got—they got one one direction they want to go. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go pneumatics. We are one level up away from being full up on everything. Totally upgraded mech. Fully outfitted and totally upgraded. Now this is great. All right, we're good. Now we just stay up on uh, ammo and the rest of it. Ammo, armor, ammo too, but armor is what I meant. All right, we're gonna see the reds drop. You know I like the reds. That evolved coil is just a godsend, let me tell you. I'm interested to see how quickly the big guys are gonna fall. That's gonna, it's gonna make a big difference to what we're doing here. They should be showing up soon. Okay, got a change in the music. Usually means they're right around the corner. I think this would be great music to play uh, in the, the Zoom meeting at work, like right before I sign in, you know? Everybody's just sitting there, they're talking about the weather, right? Because that's, that's, what, that's what happens at work when uh, business areas are 
working across with each other. Nobody really knows. How about that weather? You know, it's getting hot out here. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's hot by you too. Oh yeah, yeah, we had some, we had some heat. Oh God, you guys had the heat too? Yeah. Oh boy, man, those, uh, those air conditioners, they're just working like a ball of fire out there, aren't they? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, right, this music comes on. People are like, holy shit, what's going on? The goat jumps into the meeting, right? Wouldn't that be spectacular? I think it would. Why can't we have nice things? <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Um, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm wondering where the big guys are at. Uh, we are full up, so I'm, I'm going Cavrium, Cavarium, Cadbury Egg now. I won't, I won't start going on about Cadbury eggs again. We, we had that discussion. Okay, they're wonderful. And uh, you should be able to get them whenever you want. And I don't want to hear that they wouldn't be special if you could get them all the time. Right? They would, they would be special every time. Every time. All right, I'm hearing the music. I'm hearing the, hearing the big music. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. We're going Cavarium, Cabrium. I uh, I like our chances because I'll tell you what. Between the laser and the cosmic guardian, um, and by laser I mean the the Tesla coil, the Thor. Uh, we're we're doing okay here we are and i attribute it to all the damage upgrades the damage upgrades and the uh the crit stuff you know all right oh yes okay one down one down okay Uh, we're gonna go Cavarium again. And, you know, I know more of uh, that guy's brothers and sisters are gonna pop up. I, I happen to know this. So, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm ready for him. I've got the speed that I need. You know, because for big dudes, they, they they really move fast. And if they get up close enough, you're going to get walloped. I love that these guys are dropping so many greens. We could get some reds, too. We'd have Christmas in July. All right, all right. Oh, wow. Wow, that one went down super fast. All right, well, there's the reds. Ooh, here we go, here's, here's another one. Oh, down already. Listen to that shotgun roar. Ooh, ooh, here we go. Oh, down, see ya. Lights out, pal. All right. Cabrium, Cabarium. Okay, let's uh, let's not let them get too close. Oh boy! All right, there's the loss of a little bit of armor. We'll grab some armor in a moment here. Uh, let's go 30 armor plating. Oh, another one down. This is fantastic. We're just out here smacking folks down like, uh, 
Well, like Apollo Creed did. Old Carl Weathers. What a film. What an actor. Love that guy. Okay, well, uh, we're, we're pouring it back on now with the Dolphins. This was slightly unexpected, I have to be honest. Not, uh, was not prepared for a return of the alien Dolphins, but, uh, but I'll take it. Just looking for a path out. Looks like we found one. Okay, we've got another... Another set of the big boys. Oh, man. All right. Uh, going to need a level up. Badly. Or we're going to have to grab some armor either way. Okay. Let's get those flamethrowers going. We're almost... Almost to a level up. Almost. Okay, there we go. Oh, my. Heart rate is up a little bit. Not gonna lie. Didn't know I was going to get my workout in this way today, but uh, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. All right. So we've uh, we've fought the brothers, the sisters, the cousins, the nephews. I mean, some of them seem a little bit bigger. We're getting a whole variety of them today. The whole family's out. Oh, man. I was hoping I grabbed that. Oh. Okay, okay. All right. Let's stay away from choke points. Oh, goodness. Okay, there's our armor. So I think they're all pissed off from what I did previously. Oh, there's a freebie upgrade. I really want that. Okay, the freebie upgrade is not going to happen. Ooh, we are heading very close to a choke point, and I don't think that that is going to be the way to go. So I'm going to angle northwest here a little bit. We're going to get this freebie. Okay. Uh, we'll go in that direction. We'll keep taking these guys out. That last one seemed rather disagreeable with dying. Okay. The the dual flamethrowers are just tremendous. They've got excellent stopping power for these bigger guys. I think that was a good way to go. I, I definitely recommend it. Dual flamers, especially if you've invested a lot of meta progression points in there. Go dual flamers, check it out. Hey! There it is, just kind of randomly. You can hear that flamethrower going off in the background. Isn't that nice? All right. So my guess is that the flamethrower is going to end up being the hero here in terms of DPS. Let's see. 
Okay. So we've got two of them. So I'm going to argue that uh, we've got, what, about a million one, right? Let's just round. You know what? Let's round that up to seven. Let's round that up to six. That's a decent amount. That's a decent amount at about 1.3. Um, chem tanks, wow. You know, uh, excellent run. And then, of course, the evolved uh, Thor doing really well. Hey, I'm glad we got a win here. Um, probably will wait for this game to put out some more updates, perhaps a new area, maybe a new mech, some new weapons. I'll dive back in as those happen. But uh, a gigantic thanks to the developer, uh, Terapoli, that's working on this, and I'm sure I mispronounced that. Um, this has been just fantastic, and uh, you know I think this game shows very well um, I have seen comment after comment of people saying, boy, you, you got me. I'm going to go grab this uh, for the price point. You know, you just, uh, there's a lot of great games out there, but this, this is certainly one that, uh, you know, should be added to your wish list if you haven't gotten to it yet. Or just buy the damn thing. Um, and if you're not somebody that, you know, enjoys jumping in at uh, early access, because this is alpha, um, you know, just keep it, keep it. Keep an eye on it, along with uh, the other 1,100 games that you're keeping an eye on if you're like me. So anyway, folks, uh, thanks for hanging. Glad we got this win in today. And uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. And we'll catch you next time, as always, on the Goat Force Gaming channel. Take care. Be well out there.